It's Darren Fable! Woo! My computer wants to update. Oh, important um, housekeeping. Uh -huh. I don't know when this will go up. Probably by the time it does, everyone will have seen all of the aesthetics. But if you haven't, you need to go look at the aesthetic that I made of Hannah Laura and Angelica and the most important aesthetics that Ingrid made that I'm not going to tell you what they are and the one that I made <laughs> of Marty. They're the best aesthetics that have ever been made. They're the Eddie Rex of aesthetics. <laughs> yes. In every yeah. conceivable way. Yes. So, Sarah, you're in a room, and I hadn't decided what was in the room. And yep. now she has. So now Have you let decided? Me, let me tell you what's in this room. Oh my Ooh. god, Sarah, you know what's hilarious? So, right after we stopped recording last time, you were like, okay, I have to go like get ready for work. You started getting ready. <laughs> and then Shannon went, so guys, what would be in an office? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I did do that. But now I've figured it all out. Okay, tell me about this fucking office. Okay, so... there. So let me just kind of, like, start my description over. On the wall opposite from the door... Well, you already looked out the window, which was to the right of the door that you entered through. On the wall opposite were a bunch of bookshelves. There are books about, like, magic and, like, government stuff. Finance Boring. stuff, history stuff, Boring. religion stuff. Um, then you want to go look at the shelves. Mm -hmm. um, so I've got a few things on the shelves. There is um, near the like front door of the office, there's a bowl of water. Okay. There are a bunch of candles. Not like a bunch of candles, like like four candles. What are the colors like and scents George of the candles? Uh, candles? They're all just like. Are they all Jules candles? candles? They're all Jules's candles. <laughs> <laughs> they're all of Jules's candles. Um, Is that canon? No. Damn it. Okay. They're just like plain looking candles. Um, so they're not fun. Um, there is a like plain wooden box, probably guys. a little bit smaller than a bread box. <laughs> guys, uh -huh. pause a second. Uh-huh. I want to open the box. There's, a, like, an ice cream van or something outside my house. Go get ice cream. <laughs> Do don't no, sorry. The reason was just that it was going... <laughs> and Do you I thought like it ice cream? Yes, it's audio. creamy, screamy, cream. <laughs> A chocolate, In chocolate flavor or flavor vanilla, or vanilla bean. bean. Oh, pistachio is good, but not, but as, not good as good as brown. Brown? <laughs> brown? <laughs> brown? Yes, brown. Like brown. Classic ice cream, ice cream flavor, flavor brown? brown? <laughs> um, do you want right. ice cream before you even ask? Yes, we do have brown, and it takes you to task. It's a tasty, it's flavor, it's a color, it is too. So come get your brown stuff. Come on, doodle do. <laughs> Okay. The end. That's a color Let's and a go flavor. back. Okay, so um, <laughs> there's like a plain wooden box, a little bit smaller than a bread box. Um, do you want to open the box? Do you want me to tell you what everything else? I want is you to first? finish telling me what everything is, and then I probably will want to open the box. Okay. There's a bowl of like a small bowl of decorative seashells. Um, this guy's real into the ocean. He's got a bowl wow. of water and a bowl of decorative seashells. Is he a mermaid? The <laughs> tell me now. Is he a mermaid? He's a mermaid! There's a tea set. There's a crystal ball. There are some potion bottles. This is a very extensive office. There's an abacus. And then there is a glass case a with a cube inside of it. Like a little metal cube. Hmm. What kind of tea is in the tea thing? Um, I don't know. Because I don't know. Winter mint. Teas. Yeah, that. Sure. Winter mint. I don't like mint. That's fine. That's you the like tea pick that... up the tea and you're like, no. Yeah. Yeah. I was gonna make if it were cup. lemon. <laughs> no, if it were something that you could flavor with lemon, you're covered. Um, yeah, um, 
I want to open up the wooden box, but what if there's something dangerous in it? But what if there's money in it? I'm going to open up the wooden box. You're, so you're not going to take any precautionary measures. You're just going to open it. Um, now I'm going to take precautionary measures, no, I'm just like, because you're like, what if it kills me? <laughs> but I'll just open it anyway. <laughs> um, no, it's just, it's got dust inside. Take it. Put it oh, in the Oh, is it like in a pouch or is it just like in the box? Just like in the box. Take the box. Um... But Although we have all holder. that Richard Quinn dust that we haven't even used for I'm going to leave it for now, but I might leave with that. No, you so need to dust. take all the dust. We're going to have to use it at some point. What if someone comes Listen, in? Listen, Ingrid, we have a giant bag from Richard Quinn. Listen, Nicole, we might need to I'll make one giant trip and dust. then make another giant <laughs> trip back. Does it? I'm taking the box of dust, okay. kids. Okay. Good. It's in my bag I of holding now. Even if we don't need right. it, we can always sell it. Now I'm going to search his desk. Valuable. Okay. Um, so, sitting on the desk, there are some, like, financial records. Um, are you, so you're looking at, like, the top of the, get, the desk, right? Are you also going to, like, open drawers? Yeah. There's probably, like, three drawers. Um, so just on the top is, like, an ink bottle, a quill, um, some, like, sealing wax for, you What know, color sealing, sealing wax? wax? You um, said sealing wax, like, like, sealing envelopes, but I heard sealing wax, like, the, the, yeah. the roof? Uh, it's red. That's nah, boring. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the colors of Valencia are red and white. Oh, those are boring. Um, I was thinking, like, maybe it would be something gay, like purple, and uh, then I no. could seal my letters to Lauren in it. There is, um, I don't think I mentioned, um, that <coughs> by the front door of the office, there's, like, a bag hanging on a hook, um, if you want to get to that network, get to mm. there. Okay, I checked the bag. Um, well, it's a bag of holding. Um, Take it. We need another bag of holding. It's in the bag. Are of you holding. just gonna dump out this bag of holding? No, there. I kind of like rifle through it super quick. Okay, there's a, a bunch of gold. Um, probably too much gold for you to count right now, but um, a lot of gold. There is a pouch of gems. And yeah, then, this is the financial advisor person. <laughs> and then, but there Mara is, doesn't know who Jonathan um, is. Yeah. Then there is a, uh, like a, like, piece of cloth, like a banner kind of thing. Um. It's an invisibility club. And, no, it's not that big. Like, you can hold it in your hands. And it's, um, like, it's purple, and it has a symbol on it, and the symbol is, uh, silver wings. And you would recognize this as the symbol of Ashla because you just met Lucky, who. Aww. Aww. Cute. I think the financial advisor wants to go around spreading a message of peace, or he stole somebody's banner. Um, (laughs) I'm just going to say, Shannon. Yeah. It's DM. How much time have I spent in this room, and how much time do you think I can get away with? Well, I'm not going to tell you how much time you can get away with. But, um, I mean, you've probably only been in there a couple minutes. Okay. Um, because all of this is, like, surface level stuff. I haven't gotten into, like, you going into the desk. I think I'm gonna leave that bag there for now. Because it's, like, there's, oh, I kind of want to take it. I'm just worried about him coming in and being, like, all this stolen stuff. Yeah, that's true. What if you just take some of the gold out of it, and then he'll count it later and notice that it's gone, but... Right now, he's not going to notice. I don't want to take that time. Well, okay. I guess I could take some gold. Or maybe he has an enchantment on the bag, and as soon as you touch it, he's alerted to your presence, and he's coming towards the office That's possible with the box of dust, too, that I stole. It's very possible. All of it is possible. I'm just... Okay, I'm not going to mess with that bag. I'm just going to check the drawers and bounce. Okay, so on the desk, some financial records, ink, bottle, and quill, sealing wax. There is a um, small figure of a ram. A ram. Magnifying glass. A ram and seashells. I'm very confused by this assortment of objects. So a ram 
Because I haven't, because I've, like, figured out what, like, all the symbols and things are. So the symbol of Valencia is ram's horns with a V in the middle. Okay. Because I mean sheep. I have to make that logo now. Yeah. Okay. Um, like, the V is kind of, like, the shape of the ram's horns. Oh, head, Nicole, you're going to have so Valencia. many logos to make. That's so good. Um, so a small figure of a ram, a magnifying glass, just, like, you know, to read things. So it's now you wanna, Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> you want to <laughs> go into the drawers? Sarah. Oh, yeah, sure. Drawers. So the um, top two drawers are just more, like, papers, records, things okay. like that. I very quickly um, rifle through them and just kind of skim them. What do, I, what do I glean? They're just all, like, financial things. Um, okay. Just stuff about what the kingdom is trading Okay. Things like that. Nothing, like, sketchy or anything. Um, the bottom drawer is locked. You have your lockpick. Good thing that I have lockpicks and I have proficiency. Yep. Thieves tool, baby. Um, I got a 12. Okay. So, it's pretty simple lock. So, um, you pick it. Uh, inside is a journal... And then some letters. Would you like to read things? Are the letters all open or are they unopened letters? Um, they're all open. So they're just kind Take of... Take them and go read them, them in the other room. room. In case he comes back. I mean, I already stole the box of dust. <laughs> you He's gonna know back. someone was there. So I'm going to uncanon me taking the box of dust. Okay. I never took the box Maybe of dust. Maybe you took it, and then now you're like, I'm going to put it back. Yeah. No, 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 no. Mara never touched it. I'm uncannoning that. Um, you opened it, though. Um, you can't okay, okay. Mara that. opened it. Mara did not move it from its sitting place, okay? okay. Uncannon. My fucking boyfriend. <laughs> I hate Sunny, them so we're much. Trying to play D&D. No, Sunny texted me. I was like, we're playing D and D, and then Sunny was like, looking for lemons. Yes. <laughs> Sunny knows. Yeah, I made Sunny listen to the lemon large bit. Um, okay, so I think mm-hmm. it'll be quicker mm-hmm. to kind of flip through the journal. As of there, now, I, I mean the letters um, are short. Okay. Well, since you told me that. Oh, gracious DM. Basically, I'm, I didn't write anything for the journal. I wrote the letters. Wow. <laughs> read them. I read the letters. Okay, there are four letters Okay. that I will now read you. Okay. The first one says, um, Lord Sylvan, Lord Howard thanks you for your letter and your concern. Black Dragon Village is doing well despite the hardship it has recently endured. He does need some time to consider your offer of partnership. He is understandably hesitant to pursue business relationships with those who previously worked with Lord Quinn. For now, we will continue to make our regular supply runs to Crossroads City. Expect another letter by the next full moon. Wait, Lord Howard! (laughs) And it's signed by... Lord Howard! It's signed by Florence. (laughs) Signed by Florence Mason on behalf of Lord Pig Howard. I have... I have so much! Literally... Okay, okay, can you, can you read that again? Or can you send that it to us? laugh was okay, building in me the again, whole time. I will send um, you guys this document. Okay, so okay. how do you spell Sylvan so I can add that to Jonathan's last name? S-Y-L-V-A-N. Okay. So again, Lord Sylvan. Lord Howard thanks you for your letter and your concern. Black Dragon Village is doing well despite the hardship it has recently endured. He does need some time to consider your offer of partnership. He is understandably hesitant to pursue business relationships with those who previously worked with Lord Quinn. For now, we will continue to make our regular supply runs to Crossroads City. Expect another letter by the next full moon. I love this. I love Florence Mason. I can't wait to write her life story someday. I love this so much. So the next one is like really short. Like it's just a strip of paper, basically. Does... I want to know if... If... Jonathan knows that Lord Howard is having Florence write these letters, not because he just wants an assistant, but because he is a pig. Well, I I wrote on behalf of Lord Pig Howard. So. All right, well. Okay, so the next one is just like a strip of paper. You listening, Sarah? Yes. Okay. S. The prince is headed towards Valencia. His carriage is expected to cross the border tomorrow afternoon. 
He has what you seek. Do whatever you think necessary. Signed, <gasps> T. Jaden! <gasps> Jaden's coming. Signed Jayden. what? Signed what? Again. T. T. Just T. 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 Search your list for T, Nicole. Okay, so again. I don't have any T. S. The prince is headed towards Valencia. His carriage is expected to cross the border tomorrow afternoon. He has what you seek. Do whatever you think necessary. T. And this isn't dated, mm. so you don't know. That's I'm about to ask. It's not dated. Okay, so we don't know when. Yeah. Today was. Okay. Oh no! Wait, I do know a T. Who's the T? My mom. <laughs> Your mom? Dora's mom. Yeah. Um. Okay. Oh no. Is she writing letters to maybe Lord Jonathan? <laughs> So oh, no, that actually, okay, because this is the thing, I can't give away backstory, but that kind of <laughs> makes sense with the backstory, so. Okay, next one. Mm. So there's four, so. Next one. Sylvan. Quinn's death may be unfortunate, but it is no setback. We know that Mara was there. We know what her traveling companions look like. It will be much easier to track her down now, and this time we will not be as brash as Quinn was. We must, as always, be patient and adapt to changes in our plans. The cult of the Silver Scepter cannot be so easily dissuaded from our goal by a single death. We persevere. Let me know what your emissaries at Fairgate discover. Do not have them act. They must only observe. Sorry. Shush, 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 shush. And Sir Carl. Oh, Sir Carl. I gosh, do we death have that somebody? Do we have? Oh no, we you, named Carl the other day, right? No. no, Carl was mentioned in Richard Quinn's journal. Oh, okay, right. Can so you this is just everything like, you just read? Well, I'm not like while well, I am still internally screaming, but less yeah, internally damn. screaming. Yeah, This is your World Twenty One investigation, so I just was like, okay, I'll give her oh. everything. Sylvan. Quinn's death may be unfortunate, but it is no setback. We know that Mara was there. We know what her traveling companions look like. Oh it God. will be much easier to track her down now. And this time we will not be as brash as Quinn was. We must, as always, be patient and adapt to changes in our plans. The cult of the Silver Scepter cannot be so easily dissuaded from our goal by a single death. We persevere. Let me know what your emissaries at Fairgate discover. Do not have them act. They must only observe. Okay. Jesus. What? We have to, like, who, disguise who everyone. Who's watching us and knows what we look like? Is it the Todd Howard who escaped? No, it was the creepy people. <gasps> Do you think? No, because why? <laughs> I'm not looking at Shannon's smile. It was the I creepy trio? Please. I, okay, 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 well, okay. That okay. was my first thought. Read the last letter, Shannon. Okay. The last letter. Jonathan. I think you're smarter than to trust some sort of spirit in a spinning wheel. I know how interested you are in these kinds of magics, but be careful. If he is trustworthy, then his power may be helpful to the cause, especially considering the kinds of traps he is able to devise. Speaking of those traps, you do know how much I love riddles. After much thought, I think I've come up with my answer. The sun. (laughs) Ah! (laughs) Good job, Ingrid. Bitch! (laughs) Bitch! If so, I hope it is not as easy for thieves to guess. If not, then I suppose you have your proof that the trap will work. Will you be visiting the mountains soon? I cannot wait to see you again. Your dear sister, Emmy. Aww. Emmy. Emmy. I like Emmy. Emmy. So, E-M-M-Y. Oh, I named her after the Emmys. (laughs) Um, I'll send you a link to these documents. This thief got it in one. Bitch! (laughs) Um, Children. Yeah, Children, go go get the thing darlings. out of the go get the thing out of the thing now that you know the answer to the riddle. No, but I'm seriously considering poisoning uh, Lord Jonathan's tea. Ooh. Do you have poison? Uh, yep, I have a poisoner's kit. <laughs> do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. But wait, 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 wait. What if somebody else drinks it and it's not him, and then we kill somebody random? That'd be very sad, but I think it's. But what if the princess goes in the room and just randomly drinks his tea? Like I, I feel like this is makes me nervous. I'll just point out to you that there were also potions on the shelf. You don't know what any of those potions do. What if I poison the journal? Um, like, if he touches it, he dies? You could do that. Wait, wait, wait. wait. You could do that and then put it all back in the drawer, lock the drawer, and then just, like, 
put everything back how you found it. And peace out. Back into the room. Solve the riddle. Get the spinning wheel. And then we'll all meet up. I'm d- well, here's the thing. I think I, would need, I think I need to take the letter that's about me. Mm. Do you need to take it? Because wouldn't it be better if he doesn't know that it's gone? It's true. Yeah, you could I'll easily... I'll all these letters on Tumblr, just so you know. Okay, so Mara just on the Daring Fables Tumblr. Um, um, I think that you'll remember enough. Uh, basically... If you, could t- if you can copy it down or something. Just take a picture with your phone. <laughs> I don't know how poisons work, so I'm not going uh, to you, do, do it. Do you have proficiency in poison? Yeah. <laughs> okay, then, I mean, you would make some sort of check and add your proficiency bonus to it, like... Um... Or find some paper in the room, write down the most important bits of all of it, put it in your bag, and get out. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely paper. Just, like, spare paper on the desk. Okay. I'm um, sorry, I'm just frantically Googling to see. Mm-hmm. There's something-something. Something. Rules for crafting can be found in Player's Handbook. Roll to see if Mara can write as well as read. <laughs> <laughs> All she writes the letter. Have just been pictures. <laughs> um, let's see if I can't look up poison. I guess if I don't have like a poison on me, I don't think I really have time to craft one. Yeah, probably not. It's true. Um, so I think um, I'm going to leave this for now, and then Mara in her downtime is going to craft some poisons, because she had this idea and was like, fuck, I don't have any poisons. Um, mm. yeah, okay, um. I say find a piece of paper that won't be noticeable that it's gone. Write down the most important bits and then put everything back how you yeah. found it. So I'm going to write down, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so quickly. I, <laughs> very quickly I write down, um. Actually write it down so you remember. Yeah, I'm going to write it... Yeah, I'm going to write it down, like, how Mara would have written it down. Shannon, uh, Uh read the letter to me again. I sent you the letters. Oh, thank you. On Hangouts. I don't have my my computer's on yet, so I can't... So if you want, you can just, uh... Hold on to that. (laughs) Okay, yeah, I'll just copy-paste it, but, like... Um, just to save time right now. Um, what mm-hmm. are you gonna do next? So you, like, copy down the important bits of the letter. Letters. Yeah, she basically writes down Sylvan, Carl, Carl with an E, uh, Colt with Silver Sept- Scepter. So now Mara knows what the name of the Colt is! That's and, good! Um, she can kill them more efficiently. Creepy emissaries, question mark. Emissaries. Emissaries. I don't talk right. Emissaries. <laughs> can Mara talk? No. <laughs> Uh-huh. Creepy emissary. The sun. <laughs> the sun. I don't think and she then, used to write that. She I could probably knew remember it. that. And then locks everything up and bounce. Yeah, because no, okay. I was like legitimately like, I'm going to ransack this place and steal all this shit. It's going to be real good times. But now that I'm like, um, this guy wants to kill me, I think it's in Mara's best interest to leave this as she found it. Yeah. Um, back when I thought it was the princess, I was just like, yeah, <laughs> jewelry. But now it's like the in the advisor. interest, yeah, in interest of self preservation, Mara needs to needs to bounce and okay. make it look like so. She's never I'm here. so glad that Lord Pig Howard is ruling for good and not teaming up with Jonathan and Florence is keeping him on track. I'm very pleased for this update on Black Dragon Village and how they're doing. <laughs> um, okay, so you leave the room basically. You know what, guys? Um, I'm really proud. Of mm-hmm. myself for solving, for solving riddle. that riddle. So just for the listeners, and I'm really again, sad that I didn't get riddle. to just go like, "Hey, it's the sun." It's the sun. So I'll just read the riddle again. I cannot be held by mortal eyes, nor compared to brilliant gold. A god could judge my size, but my weight cannot be sold. If I fix you with my glower, I may just burn your skin. I cannot reach inside this tower, but if you name me, I'll let you in. Okay, that's obvious now that I know the answer. Yeah, but, I'm but not it's good not before riddles. you know the yeah. answer. Because I didn't figure it out, but then as soon as it Ingrid was, said it... I, fucking <laughs> I also think I never looked at the riddle written down, and I think I might have, like, figured at least some mm. of it out. I, uh, I got it. it. I think I got it. Well, I had the idea when Shannon said, burn your skin, and then that was it. Then I went back to the other things, and I was like, yeah. 
That's probably, that's probably right. Yeah. There isn't anything else that lines up with all of them. All right. So, um, so are you gonna leave the door propped open still, or I'm gonna it? close it? Okay, I'm gonna close it completely. Okay, so you go back. Um, are you gonna go? What's walk? Marty been doing this whole time? Just chilling. Okay, so I close the door. <laughs> I make sure it's completely closed, you and I go turn back to Marty. And Marty's just got like, I go, his toy hammer and is just bouncing. And I go, stuff. Marty. Uh huh. The chief financial <laughs> officer wants to kill me. Uh huh. So, I wanted to poison him, but uh-huh. I don't have any poison. So uh-huh. we got to work on that. Okay. Just just for future reference, like next time we have time together, we need to. Okay. Well, make we're some we're stuck in these rooms right now. So yeah, but I found that. the answer to the riddle. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna talk to the wall. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> I love everything Monty says ever. It's so <laughs> good. And, and listeners, you have to understand that like Shannon's developed a whole body language for Marty <laughs> that involves like flipping her hair around, and, it's and I was cute. bouncing the hammer. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> we make our way to the uh, to the room with the wooden door with the riddle. Yep. Okay. And I'm just Rubble Stiltskin is gone. Just so you know. No, uh, that bitch. Ah, we don't okay. need him. <laughs> That's bad. This is the bad place. <laughs> oh, this is the bad place. <laughs> um. So I just turn. You to just look at the door. The door, and I'm like, the sun. <laughs> okay, so the words on the door kind of glitter, and then you hear, like, a few clicking sounds, and the door swings open, and there is a spiral staircase oh. going up. Oh, man, it's Sleeping Beauty and Rumpelstiltskin. So I go, oh, down. <laughs> Do we hear her? No. Where are oh. they anymore? Where are we're we, in in We're still in the, in the interrogation dungeon. room. Um, yeah, we're about to enact our in- a plan. You don't get a response. I figured, but yeah. it was worth a try, because okay. I don't know how we're going to get the spinning wheel out of here. Um, just well, yeah, it. Stab it with a basilisk pack. Can I put the spinning wheel in my bag of holding? I mean, you could. You haven't found the spinning wheel. <laughs> Go up the stairs, Sarah. I'm going up the stairs okay. now. Are you do like... Any precautionary measures, yep. sneaking, yep. Um, do, or do, 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 do you want to roll a stealth do. check, or do you just want to yeah. assume that you failed? <laughs> yeah. I'll roll Get one Marty two. to roll one, too. Oh, good oh my god, 22 on stealth, so. Well, I rolled an 18 plus whatever Marty's stealth is. Oh, it's plus three, so. <laughs> 22 and 21, wow. we're real stealthy. All right, you so guys did time, better this like, time. We don't even sing, like, shh. We're just, just singing in our heads. Sneaking up the stairs. You telepathically sing to each other. After you've just shouted, Kaka! <laughs> <laughs> but that could just be word. a bird. That's yeah, true. That exactly. That was just a bird. <laughs> so you guys make your way up the stairs, and it's not very high, just kind of like a sh- quick, like, around the corner. Um, and you enter into what is clearly the top of the tower. It is a small, circular room. On one side of the room is just, like, piles, bales of hay. And on the other side of the room Ah. is what looks like hay, but it's gold. Shocking. And in the middle of the room is a spinning wheel. And sitting next to the spinning wheel is Angelica. Hanalore. Oh, Angelica. Hanalore. Angelica and Hanalore? Oh, my God. Whoa. We saw Hanalore. We saw Angelica. So you know what both of them are. You know who they are. So you know what they look like. Um, you know they're gay. They they look in like good condition. Um, they look really bored. <laughs> uh, Hannah Lore is not in like the golden dress that you saw earlier. She's in just kind of a plain dress, and they're just sitting on a bale of hay. <laughs> Should we switch to Dora and Ripley now? That's a good idea. Yeah. I wanted okay. to know what they were gonna say, but okay, we'll switch. Um, so. Um, last episode, you guys basically got convinced Stanislaus to help you escape. Um, you, I believe, told him to, like, figure out ways to distract, um... Gwen. Uh, Gwen. Gwendolyn. And the guard who is with you guys, who I believe is Stephen. He's well, outside yeah, of the room, but... Stephen is gonna take him back to the cell, and yes. while he's doing that, we're gonna turn invisible. Stephen and Colbert are my favorites. 
Yeah. Okay, so go for it. Do your thing. All right, so we're going to turn invisible. That's not mm-hmm. a check. We just do it. Um, yeah. We just do it, and it takes a spell slot, and we do it. Okay. Um, let me find Stanislaus's character. That is a second time. level spell slot. Wow. Okay. Wow, I don't think I've ever used a second level spell before. Wow. I've used three. <laughs> This is my first one. Oh, I don't no, wait. I've never no, used cantrips. <laughs> um, all right. I, mean, I did wait, a wait, wait. Okay, once. that being said, let me, because I have this cantrip that I put a note next to it that was like, use this more, and I got to remember what it is in case we need it in the next. What is it? I'm looking it up. It's called Guidance. Touch a willing creature. It can add one D4 to one ability check of its choice. So that's cool. I'm just gonna do that for Dora, just in case we need it. Just like Aww. pat you on the shoulder. Okay, Aww. so you guys turn invisible, and yeah. So I have an extra D4 just just to in use general. for an ability check. Cool. Yep. Thank um, you, baby. Yeah, welcome. That was very nice of you. I'm gonna start using that more. It's a cantrip, so I don't know why I don't use it. Hmm. Does that expire, Shannon, what? or does that just... What is it? What's the spell? Uh, guidance. Touch a willing creature, it can add a 1d4 to one ability check of its choice. I feel like it's probably the same as Bardic Inspiration, where it's just like, well, you can only have one... Going at a D time. whatever, yeah. Yeah. Um, and you can roll it before or after you do the check. Cool. I mean, it says Can duration, it concentration up to one minute, but I'm not sure if that's theoretically casting it or how long it lasts, but I mean. Mm. All right, well then, I will... What do you, you decide, Shannon, what do you want? I'll use it within the hour, it's fine. Well, it said one minute. Um, it's fine, you can oh. just... Um, I, I don't care about it being within one minute. <laughs> okay, we'll just have it okay. be like Bardic Inspiration, where I only do one at a time. Okay. Um, I'll just yeah, do otherwise it. you just give us a million D4. No, I know, but I yeah. mean, I'll yeah, say yeah. I only have one go. Like, I couldn't then turn around yeah. and do it tomorrow, and Marty and everybody. Yeah. It, okay. It can only be like one. See, I it. can do that. <laughs> Well, I can just give everybody. This is arbitrary. <laughs> it is a cantrip. Theoretically, yeah, I yeah, could, yeah, but I'm yeah, making rules for it because we didn't make it one minute. So I cool. mean, that's basically if, since it's a cantrip, it could be one minute, but you would just keep casting it every time. You felt that's it. Yeah. true, but I would have to keep touching her anyway. Well, oh well. Well, <laughs> well. but if we got separated, yeah, I wanted yeah, to yeah. still have it. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, so Ingrid, remind me why. We got Stanislaus to tell Gwen not to do the breakout just to not cause a scene, or what? Yeah. Okay. Basically. Because we were like... Don't cause a scene. Also because I was like, I mean, I was like this anyway. I want to get everyone out. Yeah. And Gwen doesn't care about everyone. She just cares about herself. And she's probably going to result in more people getting captured. Same with, like, Stanislaus and his dragon baby. Did we? Oh yeah, Janet. I was like, did we name the dragon baby? Okay, so go. go. What are you doing? What are we doing, Ingrid? You're invisible. We're both invisible. We're invisible. Well, let's get out of the dungeon wait, 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 first. Wait, right? you can do you can do the spell on is. What? Well, I was just trying to decide if we should do it to Nemo. <laughs> Or is Nemo yeah, just going to follow I think, us while we're invisible? No, I think you said you'd do it to Nemo as well. Or something. Alright, so I use two spells. Yeah. Okay. Um, and I use Speak to Animals to tell Nemo to just like... Oh my god, I just had an amazing thought and I need to bring it uh-huh. up again later. Oh. Okay, the well, amazing I'm... thought is that, well, what would happen if I put my hat of disguise on a sheep? <laughs> Maybe it could disguise itself as a dog. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Like, I don't know. I don't know what would happen, but we'll see. Okay. I think the sheep would have to consciously think. Yeah, that's the thing. Well, I it's could, crazy. I could coach them I mean, through yeah. that. Yeah. 
Okay. Anyway. Anyway. Let's carry on. I, <laughs> I do my invisibility on Nemo, and I also do speak to animals to be like, we're going to be sneaky now. So just, this is not my Ripley voice. I don't know what I'm, just Well, we can carry, out of carry her again. All right, we'll carry her. Dora, can you carry her? Or I'll carry her. It doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah, I can carry her. It's Bye. fine. All right. Uh, just don't, just, shh, just keep quiet, and Dora's gonna carry you, and you're gonna be safe, and then we're gonna find all your sisters at some point. Yeah. <laughs> She's on my shoulder. <laughs> it's just a sheep sitting Sisters and cousins, they're not all sisters, whatever, it doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so you guys are leaving the interrogation room. Yeah, but we wait a bit to make yeah. sure that Stanislaus and Steven are, like, gone. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay, and so then it's you like, go. you know, if Steven comes back, we're just gone. And who yeah, knows so where what are we happened? going, Tora? Well, we're going... Well, uh, let's RP this out. Well, let's just get out of the dungeons first and then try and find the friendos, because they're All not right. here. So. All right. Well, they're... I, I think we need to go back... Well, I don't know. I want to go back to that room with the dragon... Because I feel like that's where they are. Wait, can we, like, roll to be sneaky? Because we're talking. Stealth. Uh, are you guys talking while you're walking? Um, no. Uh, no, I don't think in, we've left yet. Yeah, you're still in the room. But so, still, yeah. No, so you're fine. Okay. You don't need to roll. Um, Stealth. I, like, I feel like they're probably in that room. You know, like... Okay, well, yeah, that sounds like a good plan. Let's do it. All right. Let, okay, okay so now let's roll there, for stealth. When oh, we get okay. there, what is the plan? Yeah. What is the plan I don't to get know in yet. the door? Uh, I don't know yet. We'll have to think of something. All right. Well, let's do it. Let's just get up there first. All right. So, so we're going to roll for stealth okay. now. We're going to roll for stealth I guess now. since you guys are invisible, you can have advantage on the roll. Okay. Yay. Well, the first one I got mm, a I'm glad. 18, so let's see if I even do better than that. Nope, I did not. 18. Okay. Um, that's 11 plus 3. Why is Ripley so much better at being one. sneaky than Mara? <laughs> uh, so that's, uh, wait. Yeah, 15. Okay. Okay. 15. Um, that's good. Uh... Sixty. Okay. Plus something. Um, I was reading something, so I got distracted. She's being a good girl now. She's not being a loud um, girl. Okay, so you guys leave the interrogation room. So mm-hmm. you have to walk past the cells. You walk past the cells and all the guards. So you will notice that um, Gwendolyn and Stephen are asleep. <laughs> Okay, just like on what? the floor. Oh, oh what? no, Stanislaus, what did you do? S- Stanislaus, the idiot. <laughs> you just told I mean, him I mean, I like, guess. Stop them. Fair. We told him not to hurt anybody, so at least they're yeah, asleep. They're and not just dead. asleep. Um, so the cell door is open, and he's just kind of leaning there. <laughs> oh my god, I hate him. Don't Please. say anything to him. No, we're um, not gonna. We're gonna just carry on. Yeah, I mean, he doesn't know you're there, so... <laughs> he can't see us. Um, I imagine all the other prisoners are being like, Whoa, what did you do? <laughs> <laughs> so you guys make your way through there. Okay. Um, through the guard room where Colbert and Sven Bryan are. Uh-huh. Um, okay, as, as we go past Colbert and Sven Bryan... Uh-huh. I'm gonna tap the opposite shoulder that I'm walking past. <laughs> <laughs> which one? Oh uh, no! Okay, one. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna like angle to Ripley and try and get her to do it the other way around, so they'll each think we can't each, see each, each other. What are you gonna gesture to me while oh, we're yeah. invisible? <laughs> we can't see each other. Oh well. Oh my are god! Don't hands. Door, door. I was just gonna say that. <laughs> so we don't lose okay, each good. Other. Okay, you're holding hands. Um, I mean, yes. we can't lose each other. Okay, so as we go past them, I'm gonna tap um, Sven Bryan's other shoulder opposite okay. to where we're walking, so he thinks that Colbert is. <laughs> yeah, he like spins around. And he's like, 
did you just tap me? And Colbert's like, no. And he's like, no, I just felt you tap me. <laughs> and we're going to keep going. Yeah. Dora, why are you such a prankster? Um, I just wanted time, them to be distracted while we went past. Every time we're watching Avatar, Alexis always quotes that, did I mention I'm an incurable prankster? You make your way up the so stairs. Okay. Yeah, let's go. And you leave the dungeon. You're now in the castle. All right, we go towards the other stairs. Okay, and I guess since you've come down this way before and you rolled a good stealth check, you will be able to make your way to the dragon room. Okay. The door is locked again. And you guys don't have lock picking tools. Yeah. All right, well. Oh. Where are we going to be? How do we unlock it? Well. I say this, okay, I say this to Ripley. How do we unlock it? I don't know. Um, I don't know. I don't have it. Let me look and see. What spells do we have? That's a good question. Let me look at my character sheet and see what spells I have. Um, I don't have anything that's going to help. I don't think I have anything. Damn it. I don't want to just, like, smash the door down, because that would draw us attention to ourselves. Yeah. All right, Can let's... knock on the door. Mm, that also feels like that might draw attention to us. We could just give it a little knock. What and if... And then... Okay, what, what if there's, like, oh. another way... All right, what if this room leads into another room, and there's, like, another room on this floor that's, like, a back way in, like, a tunnel or something? Okay. I mean, I don't, I don't know at this point. Like, is it either uh, we smash what, the door down or... What's the, the next room? We don't want to draw attention to ourselves. You want to go, like, the next room over? Yeah. Yeah, what's in the next room over? I'm like, obviously, honest. Ingrid and I know that they went into a magic room, but Ripley and Dora don't necessarily know that. No, we don't. Um... Hmm. What should be the next room? Are the walls all stone? Yeah. yeah. Is this still wooden? Yeah. Is there a gap underneath it? I mean, a regular door gap, yeah. Okay. Could I get under it as a rat? You could try. All right, let's do that. Can I stay invisible? No, I don't think so. All right, well, no. that's fine. All right, Dora. Once cast another spell. Um, do you think I should try to get under as a rat? Okay. Or should we look around first and then come back to that as a plan? Mm, no, I think that's a good plan. All right. Do that. So, that's... Oh, crap. But wait. That's my second time using it, so that's it. I can't use any more animal stuff after today. Or, I well, mean... Well, maybe you can just be a rat for the rest of this. I don't know. I can only be a rat for an hour. But okay, sure. All right. But, like, once we get in, like, don't... Let the dragon eat me instead. <laughs> no, I'll pick you up. You'll just be a floating but rat. how am I going <laughs> to open the door from the inside as a rat? Okay, fine. Turn back into yourself. All right. <laughs> so I turn into a rat and okay. I try to get under the um, door. I think you need to roll an athletics check to get under the door, but with rat Yeah, stats. I don't remember. Rat stats. I thought last time we used dexterity. That's fine. Um, rat Athletics stats. is... Rats no, it is not. Athletics is strength. Okay, so do you guys think stats. it would be? I think it Rats would be is athletics, or athletics. Or athletics. Oh, athletics or acrobatics. Athletics or acrobatics. Acrobatics. Okay, it'll be acrobatics just for you. Just because my athletics is zero. <laughs> um, it's rat stats though. <laughs> Wait, why is my athletics zero? It shouldn't be. Yeah, it should be your rat stats, though. What is strength? Oh, my strength is zero. That's why. <laughs> Why is my strength zero? It's not your strength though, it's rat strength. Or oh. rat dexterity. Okay, 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 but rat... just in general, why is yes. my strength zero? I don't know. Because what is that connected to? It's strength. It's connected to strength, Okay, 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 okay. okay. Uh, it, it's plus I zero. I found it. For I, found, rats. I found it. Just so you know. Plus zero for rats. Yes, yeah, right, so well. just roll. Twelve. Okay, I think you managed to wriggle under there. Okay, I um, look at the dragon and I see what it's up to. Uh, I think it's kind of, it's not asleep, but it's just kind of resting. It's okay, like, I'm going to mm -hmm. contemplate. 
I look up at the door. Can I tell if I'm going to be able to open it from the inside, or does it seem like it's locked from the inside also? Um, hmm. I think it's locked from the outside. I think. Wait. Um, okay, wait. Yeah. For a second, I'm just going to say, I'm going to actually, like, can can she hear me if I'm like, wait, Ripley. Yeah, I think under so. The door. <laughs> okay, Ripley. See if you can get under the other door. I was just thinking what? that. Yeah. While you're still a rat. I was just thinking that. All right. Um, cool. I mean, I don't say that back to you. I just kind of like scratch the door so you know that I heard you. <laughs> cool. Okay. okay. So you're going to so get I'm across gonna the room. Sneak across the room. So I'm going to have you roll another stealth check with rat stats. With rats, because you're now a rat sneaking past a dragon. <laughs> yeah, I know. So. Um, but rats are sneakier than people. I mean, it's plus rats zero. Rats are sneakier than people. But I thought the same thing, Ingrid. I'm ashamed of myself, but I did. <laughs> 17. Okay, so you managed to... I think the dragon's too, like, sleepy to really to notice To pay you. attention. So you okay, get to so the other I door. I sneak around to the other door, and I see if I can um, get under that door. So roll another <laughs> dex check. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to get under that door, but, you know, four. Yeah, so you cannot get under that door. Okay. It is a much better door. Um, um, okay, I, I go back over. Can I use my same stealth to go back over yeah, yeah, the yeah. first door? And you'll be able to use your same thing to get under the first door if you want. But No, because I want to try to open Yeah, yeah, I know. All right. This is the end. Like, I'm going to have to either use invisibility again or whatever, but I'm going to turn back into me, look mm -hmm. at the dragon, and try to... Uh, I'm going to gauge based on its reaction. What does the dragon do when I turn back into me? Um, I think its eyes are closed and it doesn't notice. Okay. At least for now. <laughs> cool. You're not I try to open doors. the door from the inside. Um, I'm going to decide. Hold on. Roll to see how the door is feeling. Yeah. Okay, so you can open it from the inside. Okay, I, I think open you it. can unlock it. Okay. I open What's it. What did you uh, roll for that? I rolled a d twenty, and I was like, okay, eleven to twenty, she oh, can okay. open it. <laughs> All right, I open it. I let you guys in, but I'm like, Dora, don't like stay invisible. Okay, so okay. you guys are so in I stay invisible I'm and me. I I reach and Dora, hold her hand, hand, even though I'm invisible. Give me your hat. So she knows where I am. Hand me your hat. Oh, okay. I, I give her my hat. I turn my hat's to... invisible now! Huh? My hat's invisible. That's amazing. I don't think that's how that works. Until she's touching. Until she has it. Oh, yeah. that's fair. Alright, okay, I turn fine. into Lancelot. <laughs> oh my god! Because that's the only person they've seen with this hat! Yeah. Okay. I think you'd be a slightly skinnier Lancelot. I would, but hopefully they weren't paying skinnier, that much attention. Skinnier, shorter Lancelot. A slightly shorter and skinnier Lancelot, but... Um, well, Lancelot is a redistribution of weight anyway. <laughs> Alright, I I take Dora's hand again, even though we're invisible. Um, okay, yeah. so... Or she's invisible, I'm not. You are going to you're make Lancelot. your way back across, and I think you can still successfully get past the dragon. Okay. Um... But the door is still locked. And now you're at another locked door. Yeah. <laughs> but you can't get under I this I can't one. get under this Did one. Did you guys close the first door? Did we? Close and lock yes. that one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because we can unlock it, it from the inside. Yeah, close yeah. and lock it. Um. Ah, uh, yes, bitch. All right. Good. All right. What is the plan now? <laughs> Do we want to... Okay, because I really... I really feel like they're in there. Like... I really feel like they went in there, and there was some secret tunnel, and they went too far to be able to hear us, and that's where they are. Because why would they have a dragon guarding something if it wasn't, you know, the thing? Yeah, 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 that's totally, yeah. I'll just say it's okay. pretty crappy dragon guard. <laughs> yeah, this is a really baby. He's a baby. He's a baby. He's good. He's good. It's just, you know, they maybe should have gotten a better a dragon. A good baby. Okay. I also... Okay. Okay. All right, um, so I tried to just open the door. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not going to be able to do no, that, but... We maybe could... the dragon can open the door? Mm. I don't really... I just imagine a dragon. Can the dragon open like... the door? Does dragon count as speak to animals? Yeah. 
All right. Uh, Murphy's going to talk to a dragon. I want to talk to the dragon. That is my next plan of action. All right. Um, I cast Speak to Animals, and I walk over to the dragon, and I kind of, like, very cautiously try to get its attention. Like, I, like, do a little small wave. <laughs> Um, oh, wait, but I'm not me. Uh, I take the hat off. Okay, so... But I'm still holding it. Yeah, I think since you're not, like, you're t- purposefully trying to get its attention, and so you're not, like, being sneaky anymore, it, like, hears you, and, uh, like, senses you approach and kind of, like, opens its eyes, and it's like... I'm like, hey, baby, we're back. Uh, don't, don't... I d- no, I say I'm back. I'm back, because mm-hmm. I don't want... Dora's still here, but... I, are you, how are you doing? Yeah. This is speak to animals, you can talk. That's true. Uh, <laughs> wow, I have to think about what the dragon actually says. I think uh, the dragon, dragon would still fun. be mad that Mara left. I, I miss sad. friend. Who's your friend? Redhead friend. <gasps> Red Where friend. did she go? Door. Can you get us in there? Break door? Can we break the... If we break the door, can we go find Redhead and bring her yeah. back? Yeah! <laughs> okay, that's a great idea. I can't that. believe... Why <laughs> <laughs> pet baby truck no, about this? Did Redhead this have any friends? Yeah. Did she have a friend with her? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Sword boy. Sword boy. Did sword boy go into the room yeah. too? Yeah. Did they come back out? No. They're just in the room. In the Do room. you know what's in there? No. Do you know if it leads somewhere else in the castle? Tower. The tower. Okay, you're great job, baby. I'm so happy. Thank you so much for helping me. I'm gonna <laughs> find what the baby's dragon. name is. Baby, what's your name? What's the dragon's name? <laughs> what's the dragon's name, Michi? <laughs> no, no, if it's Mara's pet dragon, I want to think of a name. Okay. I don't know when to name him. I'm going to think of something. What's a good name for a baby dragon? Michi. No. <laughs> dragon is Michi. No. Stone people. Is, is, what is the dragon's gender? Uh, it's a, a green dragon. I think we've just been saying boy. Um, but I mean, like, yeah. Well, Whichever we're just gender the gender the way that people... I don't know. They don't know if they have the concept of gender the same way that we do. Um, Eisel. Maybe. Wait, Maybe. hang on. What's this the name so of the dragon? Hard. Let me... F- oh, let me find... Look at the picture Eisel. of the dragon. That'll inspire you. Yeah. Yeah. Do you draw? Hmm, that's cute. It's a very good dragon. It's a really good dragon. Oh, I just searched... Dora Google. doesn't understand any of this because I'm speaking dragon language. Guys, so we're just going... Have you going, seen... <laughs> <laughs> have you seen the... Um, the oh, it's called Idris. That's cute. That would be cute. There's an there's an, an episode of Bible the Engine, which is a old Welsh um, stop motion animation, and it's amazing. But anyway, it's about it's about an engine, and it's just like this is Ivor, but Ivor doesn't have like a face or Idris talks is or anything. Cute. It's just an engine. Mm-hmm. And then one day, a tiny dragon hatches from an egg <laughs> in Ivor's fire. <laughs> okay. What do you want to name and the his dragon, name is Sarah, Idris. so we can move on with this conversation? Okay. And <laughs> then, oh my god, he lives with his wife, Olwen, and their twins, Gaian and Blotwin, in the extinct volcano, Smoke Hill. All right. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just learning okay, on this, okay. and this so is amazing. Dragon, his name is Idris. Idris. All right. Well, thank you, Idris. Do you think that um, you can help us break the door? Yeah. All right. Um, okay. So the the dragon gets to its feet. I go. And just kind of lumbers I go, over to Dora, the door. Can I? While I'm doing speak to animals, I can still speak to people, right? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> people Dora. are animals. Yeah. Well, that's true. Dora, um, get out of the way of the door. <laughs> Okay, you gotta okay, unchain okay. the baby too at some point. Well, he right now I'm, he can reach the door. Mm-hmm. Um, well, uh, actually, that's a good idea. While, while we're doing, hey of the room. Dora, while we're while we're doing this, you think there's some way we can get the chain off of him? Um, a big old metal chain. I don't have anything that can. I mean, do I that. can make my flame, but I don't think it'll melt through a reverse chain. mending. No, I don't think so. 
Um, well, okay. I'm gonna. Uh, Mara has lock picking. All right, so uh, Idris, we're gonna try to like. Do you like it here, or you want to get out? Mm, boring. Okay. Well, we're gonna try to help you get out eventually when okay. we come back. When we come back with Redhead, yeah. we're gonna we're gonna come back and we're gonna say Redhead's name is Mara. Redhead's, so he knows. Okay, yeah. Her name is Mara. Mara. Yeah, and she's really nice. She's one of my oh, best friends. When, when he says Mara. It, does it sound like he's actually like in a dragon? Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to you. Yeah. And and we're gonna come back, and I'm sure she's gonna be so happy to see you. Mara's gonna. Yep. Mara's gonna be very happy to see the baby. Oh, the baby. Um, okay. Well, I rolled 19 to hit the door. <laughs> oh, let me roll damage for the door. <laughs> Ripley, put the hat back on before he starts doing this. Okay, I put the hat back on. Um, Idris, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put on a disguise. Don't tell anybody. Shh. And I put my hat on. Okay. Her I door's rolled, hat. I rolled twenty damage against the door. <laughs> um. <laughs> so I broke it. <laughs> Can we like see into the room and back? It's just or? Like, <clears throat> yeah, or is so it a different can, room? No, you okay. can see into the room. It's just like. It looked for Mara and Marty. So, the Rubble Stiltskin is not there. The mirror is back on the original oh, wall. Shit. We're not gonna figure okay. out this riddle. Well, we've got to we've got to figure out the riddle while pretending we don't know the answer to the riddle. Yeah, I know. I don't think I would okay. think of taking the mirror off the wall though. Sarah was real smart to think of that. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's go in. All right, we go in. I guess. I think Idris just kind of sticks his head in. That's so the door doesn't, like, roll. reseal itself no, behind us? Idris just, just lays its head down. All right, Idris, do you know anything about this room? No. All right. Well, I don't know where... <laughs> Small. I don't know where Mara is, but we're going to have to try to find her, okay? Mm-hmm. Where the fuck Well, actually, though, good. I think... Okay, this is fair. I think that my first thought would be, this is an empty room. There must be a With tunnel behind the mirror. I think that would be right. my first thought, yeah, is that there's a tunnel behind the tunnel. mirror. So, let's let's see if there's a tunnel behind the mirror. Okay, so... So we take the mirror you off. You take the mirror off, you yeah. see the, like, portally Swirly stuff. stuff. Cool, cool, portally stuff. I, I don't think we should go in there, because they might... What if they're trapped in there? Mara? Marty? <laughs> no. We, uh, we see nothing. Okay. Cool, cool. Okay. Um, Do we find the riddle room? Well, well, we'd have to move the mirror yeah, around have the to, room. Like, figure out moving the mirror around. We put it down. Yeah. I think we put it down on the ground. And I mean, I s- yeah, and then you'll see another room with the thing once it's laying down on the ground. We'll see darts all over the floor still, right? Yes, and a lemon. And a lemon. All right, <laughs> a lemon. Oh, oh, shit. I must have done this. I think. Okay, cool. Oh, shit. Okay. So, what if we we just go to look for lemons? Okay, no, tell we'll us look for lemons, been. and then we'll know where she is. Except for Mara collected all the lemons. I know she did. Um, I don't think we well, should go yeah. in there, because that looks like a dead end. All right. Um, right, okay. Next we, wall. We, I guess we figure it out, and we move the mirror to the next wall. Um, yeah. It's okay, hard so, to, like, figure it out without, yeah, I mean, we're like, just, we know the answer. I mean, are you going to move it against each wall before deciding... Which one to go into? Sure. Um, yeah, Dory, you're still just invisible, into- right? None of them have yeah, lemons I'm invisible. in them. And Nemo the is time. just chilling in this room, I guess, because you would have had to put her down but, at some point. Okay, none of them have lemons in, but but we see the writing on the wall, right? Do we? Does the, the riddle room op- is it the open? The door is open. All right, let's go the in there. The door is open. Okay, go okay. in there. As we go past, I look at the thing and I go, oh, the sun. <laughs> Dora, you're so smart. Okay, are you still invisible? Oh, you're still invisible. I'm still Lancelot, and Nemo is following us. I guess. And yes. just like, no, Nemo's still oh. on my shoulder, Nemo's and I'm on your still shoulder. holding okay, your good, hand. Good, good. She's safe. Invisible. Okay. So, so, okay, so. And I, I go in there, and I, I go up the stairs, and I go. Cool. <laughs> cool. So you guys have j- 
just reached the top of the stairs, seen Princess Hanalor and Angelica. Oh my god! Yay! And we're all have not together again. Said anything to each other other yet and then you hear a faint caca caca I roll my eyes and I'm like caca okay we run up the stairs okay we run up the stairs wait 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 no before I go I go is it safe to come up I think so all right we go up the stairs and we see what we see uninvisible one do you become yourself again Um. Sure, I'm I'm in uninvisibling, but you're still Lancelot. Also, Nemo is still invisible. <laughs> he has to, she has to make that decision herself that's, or do something. That's important. Nemo is invisible. I'm still Lancelot. So we go up the stairs. Uh, so basically, Dora just runs in holding the hand of this random dude <laughs> <laughs> with her hat on. Like Marta's gonna be like, yeah, what? That's but a real still. ugly hat, sir. Oh, right. I take it off. Hi. Did you I, did you see the baby dragon? We did. All right. I talked to him. His name's Idris and he loves you. He loves you like a lot. He apparently. really wants to see you again. Should I go back and free the baby dragon? I think a we good should. Plot. Okay, okay. Um <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Yeah, this. Okay, um So Hi. Hi. Hello. What? Hi. You you got you the people I saw outside. Yeah, uh, yeah. outside the castle. Yeah. yeah. Um, is this your is this your girl then? This is Hannah Laura, and Hannah Laura's like, hello. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Princess Hannah Laura. <laughs> <laughs> nice yeah. to meet you. I curtsy. <sighs> oh my god, thank you. So I I don't so curtsy. You, like pointedly, I'm like you're mm. you're. Which one of us talked to the Miller? Was it you? Yeah. Me. It was me. I just want to be like, your dad is worried about you. <laughs> Where yeah, is so he? Like, he's in the dungeon. Oh, my God. But we're, yeah. we have, like, we're trying to get everybody out, but it's, like, a wait, complicated wait, wait, situation. Wait, 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 Didn't you just, like, get a load of people arrested? Oh, the princess, yeah. No, yeah. no, no, no. That wasn't her. And Hannah was like, yeah, I mean, I've been in this tower for, like, a week. <laughs> All right. Oh, shit. In is somebody in this, somebody is disguising themselves as you. I guess so. Because we know, definitely saw know. you outside or yeah, somebody that's, looking that's, like you. That's what Angelica said. Oh, by the way, this, are they sitting with a spinning wheel? <laughs> They're sitting on a bale of hay next to the spinning wheel, yeah. Do you mind if we just, like... Wait, hold on. Are just you all a, attached just, to the wait, spinning shit. wheel? <laughs> I'm just like, wait, you, hey, wait, Dora, Dora, wait. Dora. The, yeah. Can, you want to play us okay. some flute music? Guys, guys, okay. So, this may come as a shock, but magic is real. <laughs> <laughs> and something magical might happen right about. And then I take out my fan pipes and I. <laughs> Robin. I wanted to put the entire uh, spinning wheel into my pocket. I know. We found it. I'm Look, sorry. Robin, we found it. Oh, wonderful, you found I the mean, spinning wheel. Um, technically, Mara found it. And Hi, someone wants I to helped. kill me. That's very oh. important. I need to mention that. But we're gonna, we're gonna get this spinning uh, wheel. What? What are you? Gonna, what? Someone's trying to kill me. It's but everyone's people's trying to kill me all the time. Let's it's all right. Just, we've got. There's this whole complicated Hi, thing. Robin. I think the queen. So good to see you. Sorry, Robin. There's just been a lot going on. I think the queen is is got some like Has evil advisor or something. <laughs> no. There's like right. a. There's like no. a. Like Mara, the there's like a I've had in room. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot going on. There's We're like a fi- there's voices. like a financial advisor that's been telling the queen to do stuff, and I think it might be connected to. Oh, this. good, he's the one who's trying to kill me. Oh god, I think he All had right. a lot of money. All right, financial advisor. Whatever. Um, <laughs> Hannah Lore, you said how long have you been? A- okay. First, just real okay. quick, are y'all attached to the spinning wheel? Can okay. we give it to Robin? Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> so let me just explain what happened. Okay. Okay, so. My aunt, the queen. Uh, yeah, lovely woman. No, Shannon, she's not. I know that this is a ca- I know this is a character <laughs> choice, but I literally Hi. can't hear you. Oh, God. My aunt. <laughs> I, I, I get, didn't actually I say know. lovely woman sarcastically. Ripley's not sarcastic that uh, much. My aunt, the queen. Um, she, like, likes money. 
and taxes. And I'm always like, we shouldn't raise the taxes. Because the people are poor and don't have any money. Mm -hmm. And why do we need more money? We have lots of money. So I was out in the city. I'm just picturing Chance saying all this. In the village. <laughs> and, and as she's giving this whole very arduous speech, Angelica's just like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> Even though Angelica has Can obviously just, heard like, all this before. hand the spinning wheel to Robin while she's talking? <laughs> yeah, yeah, let me put it. Okay, so... And there was this, like, guy selling things. And he told me about this spinning wheel, and he said it could create gold. Could turn anything that went through it into gold. So I bought it. And I was, I took it back here, and I showed it to my aunt, and I was like, look, we don't need to raise taxes, because we can just make more gold. Angelica has explained to me that's not how money works. <laughs> <laughs> There's something called, like, inflation. I don't know. I love Hannah Lord. But, um... <laughs> Angelica so has like, explained to me. <laughs> so then like. my aunt wasn't, like, like she likes the spinning wheel because it makes gold. But she didn't want to just, like, have that and no taxes. So then she put me up here, and I've just been weaving gold. And, uh, yeah, so there's a bunch of gold over here. I use the straw, and I go to put it through the spinning wheel. That's a baby. That's not in here. <laughs> <laughs> it's Idris downstairs being like, Mara! Mara! And then, like... <laughs> the <children>. baby. <laughs> so how did Angelica like, get here? Oh, they brought her up here when she got arrested just now. Today. Why? Cuts. I was like, I want bread. And Angelica had the bread. <laughs> so like, and Angelica's like, yeah, and like, I, I kept yelling at them to let me see her and bring her bread. So, I mean, I guess they just kind of got sick of me, so. Well, I'm really glad that y'all this found each so other. Gay. <laughs> so gay. And your bread. So, like. I, like, literally, Dora's looking at them like. You're right, girls. <laughs> like, um, so, also... Do we need to have a talk about bread? <laughs> we ate all the bread. So then, like... Look, the basket's empty because I ate it. The bread's really good. That's so, true. So, like, a bread is bread. Um, <laughs> Sarah said, Sarah like, said bread. Fuck off. Before we're You know what's real good if you make some toast and, like, cut up some peppers, put it on there with some, like, cheese oh, and, and some garlic? Car, can you do that? I don't know how to do that. So, also, <laughs> there was this other guy called Rumpelstiltskin. And Ooh, I think weird name. he made, like, a deal with my aunt about something. About at some point, Mara, do you want to be like gold. we met the guy? Yeah, we met and him. Stuff. Oh, you met him. He might be a demon. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. Hannah <laughs> okay. just does not care. So yeah, so, she just wants to be gay and eat bread and like aspirational. Relatable. Yeah. So that's pretty much what's been going on. All right. Well. Okay. Um, so yeah, I mean, I this don't is care our friend Robin. He really wheel. wants the spinning Hi. wheel. Or, I mean, they really want the spinning wheel. Can we give it to them? Yeah, sure. All right, Robin. Here it is. Oh, thank you. Blue but, does Robin go away? Wait. Or no, no, no. R- wait, Robin. If uh-huh. if the s- spirit has already gotten out of it, uh-huh. or no, no, has no, no, been no, no, possessing no. it, so this face that Shannon's making right now. <laughs> so Rumpelstiltskin is kind of attached to the spinning wheel. Any version of Rumpelstiltskin that you saw was most likely not actually him. It was some sort of projection that he sends out. He's kind of a trickster. Okay. So, so no, if we um, give you this, there's not going to be some kind very, of evil ramifications. No, he's very tied to this spinning rail. He'll just be in here with me. He's not going to be able to hurt you in there, is he? Oh, no, no. All right. No. I w- he he just likes to make deals, and you know I don't fall for those frivolous kinds of things. 
Fair. All right. Well, you know, I think I, he's always like, "Oh, I want your firstborn child." Do you and think don't have he it was children. him doing the projections of the princess? Quite possible. Yes. Yes. He so, if you have the spinning wheel, himself. is he gonna not or be able to do be that the, anymore? I don't believe so. Not when financial he's advisor. Trapped in here. That's financial also advisor. True. What about this financial? The, um, advisor? we heard that that's who's been telling the queen to raise all the taxes, and also yeah, Mara. Uh, what? Were you saying? Uh, how, I don't know. I broke into someone's office, and I thought it might be the princess's office, but then I think it might be someone else's I office. Don't I don't know. Office. There was tea in there, and I thought about poisoning it, because apparently he wants to kill me. Doesn't also, a lot of people want to kill you? I mean, yes. But also, um, he had letters that I read at his desk, because I rolled a 21 on investigation. What and, letters? Um, so there was this letter, and it said, wait, I wrote that down. I pulled out my little notes. And it said, like, something about Quinn's death being unfortunate, and they knew I was there, and we knew what you guys looked like. And then it said the Cult of the Silver Scepter, so I think that's the Assassin Cult. I finally know its name. It's I can't great. believe they and actually then, like, go around Sir, calling themselves a cult. I know, and then uh, Sir Carl signed the letter, and he was, like, in the Dust Journal, so he also wants to kill me, so that's two people who want to kill me that Shit. I now have to kill. Goals. Also, there was a letter in there from Ward Pig Howard in Florence, Real good. Oh, Real good. good reading. Is Florence doing okay? I think so. I That's mean, it was cute. just a letter That's being cute. like, fuck off in a really nice language. I love oh, her. good. I knew we could trust her. That was a good okay. choice. Okay. So much just happened in this This stand. is a lot of information. I yes. Know. Okay, so like, we're in this tower. Uh, ha- yeah, Hannah Law, Hannah Law, what can you tell us about this financial advisor? When did he come on the scene? Oh, like, he's been around for like decades. Ah, he's, oh, it's just Jonathan. Okay. I think we should all well, start moving he's out very of this tower. Smart, all right? Marty is just like Guys. stuffing gold straw into his bag <laughs> and is like, "Yeah, like let's go." Okay. <laughs> everyone, 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 everyone. Guys, let's go, lesbians. Let's go, let's lesbians. Go, lesbians. Let's go. Let's go, lesbians. I think what needs to be done here is going to take longer than just today. And today, we mm-hmm. need to get Princess Hanalor to safety. That's really important. Right. Because Thank you. If we leave you well, here, because, then they'll just put you back in this tower. Well, really, what what is needed to do is obviously some sort of uprising and revolution, I think. Yeah. Um, but uh-huh. we can't do that right now because we don't have the support of... Well, we do have the support of the people, but not the guards which have been trying working on but is not really getting that they're pretty in deep with the uh, sort of uh, indoctrination kind of thing um you know uh so what i'm thinking is we get you two to safety we possibly uh see if uh, dungeons are gonna do a uproar thing or anything like that. Basically, the, the 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 plan right now is we're gonna have to escape this castle and get you away, so that uh-huh. if in the future a coup is possible, we have an heir because you are the heir. Oh, me. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. You. Yeah. Um. What about politics? Stanislaus? Um, y'all, we met this guy named Stanislaus. Where um, I don't really trust him, but he's supposedly helping no. I us. think I, I I I think he's on the level. To be honest, the more and more I learn about this regime that's going on, the more I kind of understand the point of view of. You know what? Fuck it. This is terrible. Who who? So this is Angelica. Who's this? Who's this guy? Uh, it's a guy who doesn't like the queen. Okay, well, yeah. Um, but the, like, other, the other thing where is, he was in the dungeon he and he like, has like a little dungeon. baby dragon. Oh. And well, we're having so much luck with dragons. Um, I mean, yeah, yeah well, we are. We okay, befriended th- the one that's downstairs. One thing. Okay. Well, yeah. Well, what do you mean by Mara dragons? has a so dragon? Much luck with dragons? I mean, just like a dragon is guarding us, but. It's fine. I mean, I befriended the baby well, dragon. Okay. I could make him not... I got it. Maybe, yeah, yeah I don't know. Yeah. We do have a dragon on our side. That's a okay. good point. Um, right now, we have to think about how we're going to get out and whether or not we can get other people out with us, uh, i.e. 
the guy that was helping us and your dad. Uh, yes. Yeah. The, yes, your dad is important. Because I know you're not going to want to go. What about yeah, the rest of the people? Yeah, I know. That's the point. So we met this lady, Gwendolyn, and she's planning mm-hmm. on, like, doing this whole prison break, but I think she really only cares about getting herself out, so... We, we're more concerned about, like, is, everybody. Is this Gwendolyn a wizard? Yeah. I know her. Is she, like, really annoying and loud and talks a lot? And, yeah. All right, yeah. She's, that's coming from me. She's, like, <laughs> a street performer. She's, like, nothing. Okay. Oh. I mean, she okay. can do, like, cool stuff, but she's not all that. All right. Well, good. Okay. Well... We have an established member of the guard. I take my hat from Ripley and put it on. Everybody, so, this is... Uh, no, I don't know your Lancelot name. Never mind. Yes, you do. Yes, oh, you yeah, do. Oh, yeah, I think you do. Everybody, meet Lancelot. <laughs> That's an ugly hat, Lancelot. A pleasure. This hat was given to me by my liege. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> is that me? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Technically, I used Mara's money, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is a favor from my lady. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. okay. All right. What's happening? Well, what's we gotta wrap up, but uh... we gotta wrap up. Okay, but uh, let's just say we need to figure out how to get out of here. Well, can we go back downstairs so Mara can say hi to the dragon again? Yeah, let's do that. All right, we go downstairs. Ah, hi, baby. Ah, <laughs> he's so happy Aww, to see you. He's so ah. happy. Right. I take the lock on his collar. <laughs> okay, roll a dex check. <laughs> it's too bad he's not a big dragon. We could break out Gringot style. I mean, he's not that small. He's not going to yeah. be able to carry six of us. I got 26. Okay, so you, you hell, you basically just tap it, and it falls off. <laughs> it's not a very good lock. No. Nope. And he's like, ah, and like moves its neck around, because yeah. it, it doesn't have a metal you on crack, it anymore. Crack the neck. Can you still speak to animals? Yeah. What's it lasts say- like an hour. <laughs> What's he saying? Yay! <laughs> he's really happy. Oh, Redhead! Yeah. <laughs> I'm happy to be back. Red. I'm, I'm taking the baby dragon with us. Is, does anyone have any problems with that? Raise your Absolutely hands now. Absolutely not. As long as he yeah. doesn't eat the sheep. <gasps> My sheep! <laughs> <laughs> my sheep! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I forgot! <laughs> Can we just end it there? Yeah. Alright, thanks for listening. Please oh end it with my sheep. <laughs> Bye!